Hello guys, welcome back. This is Tipika from mytutorialrack.com and in this video, we are going to talk about some of the important settings that are available in Cursor, which you can change according to your own wish. And uh, this time we are going to right click on Cursor and run as administrator. Okay, and the reason I am running it as an administrator is because sometimes cursor needs some extra privileges. And when we are talking about setting up MCP servers and all of that, it was causing me a lot of errors in order to get the Salesforce DX MP and MCP server enabled in, in inside of cursor. So after playing around with it for days, I literally had to run it as an administrator and for some reason it worked. So just to be on the safer side, run it as an administrator. So whatever permissions it needs, it can grab those permissions. I hope you're using your own uh, local machine rather than your office laptop, which you might not have an admin access to it, okay? But it might work for you without the admin access as well. So it depends on machine to machine. So mine had issues, so I had to run it as an administrator. And then what you can do is in order to if you don't see this uh, sidebar, all you need to do is click on this toggle the primary sidebar, it will go away. Click on it again, you will see it. If you close this chat by mistake, you can open it by clicking this toggle the AI pane and it will appear this chat, okay? Now the settings are here on the, if you click on this gear icon, this is what it opens up the settings. The first setting under the general is manage accounts. So if you want to manage your account and billing, you can directly go from here by clicking the open button and it will open up the browser. It will open up the cursor. And here you can say what your usage looks like, what kind of plan you have. You can manage your subscription from here, uh, billing and invoices. Under the usage, it will tell you what how many tokens you have used and how much it costed you to use those tokens. Okay, and how these tokens are calculated and why do you need to use uh, right in such a way that you're using less tokens that way you'll save on money. Okay, so tokens play a very important role and the way you write a prompt assigns those many tokens based on how much uh, or how, how you have written your prompt. Okay. So you can open up your account from the settings itself here. Now, editor setting, if you want to configure your font for matting, mini map and more, you can click it from here, open it, all of that. I'm not gonna change uh, my font family. If you wanna change it, if you wanna change your font size, you can do it from here. Uh, so we'll, we'll just close this one. Keyboard shortcuts, if you want to know what are the different keyboard shortcuts that are available, these are all the different uh, shortcuts that are there. If you just wanted to accept whatever the changes cursor is recommending, you can just click on control plus enter. So these are the different uh, keyboards that are available, keyboard shortcuts that are available for you. And you can just remember those, or if you want, you can just use your mouse to click around, okay? This is import settings from VS Code. So if you wanted to grab extensions, you wanted to grab the settings and key bindings from VS Code, you will use this import button here. And uh, if you wanted to allow the agent whenever you show the system notifications, if you wanted to show the system notifications when agent completes or needs attention, you can enable this uh, notifications. It will send you notifications. If you wanted to uh, show cursor in a system tray, uh, you can enable this. If you wanted to play a sound when agent finishes responding, you can enable this. So I don't want a sound coming in every time it finishes up something, uh, then I'm gonna just disable this, okay? This is your chat. How do you want this chat panel to look like? So the chat can come in two different modes. One is the agent mode and another one is the ask mode. We will keep it at the agent mode because we want this agent to make changes for us, create uh, classes for us, write trigger for us, test classes, all of that, right? Ask is, is just going to give you answer, but you need to do the implementation. So ask is it is going to work in the ask mode where you can just ask questions and it will respond to you. For the this particular course, we will leave it on the agent mode, okay? Default location, do you want it, the agent, the AI window to be appear as a pane or in the editor? If I change it to editor, this is how uh, it will look like. In the pane, it looks like this, new chat. In the editor, it will look something like this, okay? So I'll change it back to the pane mode. And then text size, do you want the response, the text size of the text messages to be small, default, large, or extra large? So based on now, what size you have chosen, the font would appear this way. So here you can say, um, write 
what is an epics class just a simple and then you have chosen the text as small so this is what it is going to give you what is an epics class now it is giving you in a small if you have changed it to default you will see uh, the size has increased a bit if you change it to large you will see the size has gone, gone a little bit bigger and if you go with the extra large the size will go much more bigger so it depends on how do you want it i will leave it as default not too small not too uh, big okay display choose between full or compact display so if you what how do you want the chat messages to appear compact or full then you can change from here as well. Okay, it doesn't do much to be honest with you. So I'm not sure what it is supposed to do. Auto clear chat, if you wanted to automatically clear the chat, you can enable this, uh, scroll to new messages. So these are some of the uh, some of the settings that are available. Tab, uh, we don't have to go into deeper. Now models is important. So these are all the models that are configured inside of your cursor. So if you, whatever models you see here, so you click on, these are the different models. So you can choose and switch between, hey, you wanna use uh, GPT-5, you can choose this. GPT-5 will be much more expensive. So you might have to pay extra. So you can switch between the models and these models you can configure under this models under, under the settings. So you can see here, these are the different models that are there, Cloud4 Sonnet, uh, Cloud4 Sonnet dash 1M, GPT-5, Gemini 2.5 2, 2 Flash. So these are different models that are available. And the same models, you can switch between the models here, or you can leave it auto, that means Cursor will basically make the decision of which model to use uh, based on the performance and the speed. Okay, so cursor helps you select the best premium. So we'll go ahead and select the auto mode. So it will choose the right model behind the scene. Okay, background agents, in order to enable this, you need a Git repository. So we don't have it yet. So we don't have to worry about it. MCP is something we are going to look up in the upcoming tutorials. First, I have to explain what MCP does, and then I will explain it to you. Rules and memories. So if you want the cursor to follow certain rules and guidelines, you will write those rules uh, over here. You will define some user rules. Uh, these are some project rules. We will take a look at them in the upcoming tutorials. Okay, so these are some of the settings you can change by coming over to the settings tab here, and then you can uh, switch between the models, configure a new model. If you wanna see all the models, uh, you can enable a particular model if you want. These are some of the settings that are available through Cursor. I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thank you.